Hey guys, welcome to another episode of No BS with Brett and Seb. This is part of our series, Label Printing for Dummies, where we, the dummies, help educate you on label printing. This episode is all about label material. There are hundreds of label materials out there and understanding what to use and when can be daunting. You've got different material, different finishes, and different adhesives. There's paper, polyester, vinyl, bop. What's bop? All I know is I bop this guy over the head on a regular basis. Then we've got gloss, matte, and metallic finishes, permanent adhesive, removable adhesive, and the list goes on. I'll admit it does sound discouraging, but we've got some good news. It's actually way simpler than it sounds. Let's break it down, starting with material. Material can be easily broken down into two categories, paper and film. Paper is obviously the cheaper option and should be your starting point. If extra durability is necessary, adding a gloss or matte lamination will help protect it. There is, of course, many applications where paper just won't cut it and a film is required. Film is classified as any plastic such as polyester, commonly referred to as PET, polypropylene, also known as BOP, PP, or polypro, and vinyl. Can you tell the difference? Good, because neither can we. 95% of the time, end users will ask for a specific film, when in reality, all they know is they want a film, any film. So don't stress, you're doing great. Now, if you guys really want to look good in front of your customers, here are a few strengths of each film which may make it slightly better of a choice over another. You can use these strengths to educate and guide your customers towards the best solution. BOP is the lowest cost film, which is why it's most commonly used. It's thin, it's lightweight, and suitable for many applications like food and beverage and bath and beauty. However, it's heat sensitive, which makes it not that ideal for high, uh, high heat printing methods like laser toner. And now moving on to PET, it's a highly durable film, which makes most ideal for demanding applications like exposure to heat, outdoor elements, and UV rays. Vinyl is another durable film best associated with its flexibility and adhesion. Common applications for vinyl include pipelines, rental equipment, and bumper stickers. Now, you could be limited to just one or two of these films by your printer or by what you actually have available on your shelf. Don't worry. For example, your customer's application would be best suited for polyester, but if all you have is BOP, it is still gonna work too. Now for adhesives. Do you want it to come off or not? This answer will tell you if you're using permanent or removable. It's that easy. The most common question we get is whether it's suitable for the freezer. The answer is as long as you're buying good quality material, permanent adhesive is freezer grade. It's important to note though, that if you're running a digital inkjet printer, you're gonna have to make sure that your material has an inkjet receptive coating. Good point. But not to worry, there's plenty of materials out there. At PDS, we carry a wide range of label material for all digital presses, both inkjet and toner. On our shelves, we stock all the materials we mentioned in this video, as well as a variety of lamination with no minimum orders on stock sizes. Now we tried to keep this video as short and sweet as possible. So if we missed anything, reach out, let us know. We make these videos because of our customer feedback. So what you say is really important to us. Give us a call, send us an email, or leave us a comment. See you next time for another episode of No BS with Brett and Seb. See you guys.